uh, today I want to show you how to attach your custom domain to the Proxidmail. Uh, I'm Alex, the solo founder of Proxidmail, and today, yeah, you're going to know how to attach. First of all, uh, it's uh, a very useful feature in order to use your Gmail, in order to use ProtonMail, Tutanota, etc. Uh, these emails being forwarded to your, uh, like, you use your real emails, Gmail, Tutanota, um, ProtonMail, um, but you use it with your custom domain. You can get unlimited amount of uh, uh, emails on your domain and get it forwarded to the uh, your actual um, to your actual email you can also reply to the messages you can disable some of the uh, some of the um, email addresses because you can generate um, any amount of addresses with a paid plan and like up to 10 uh, with a free plan uh, as you can see I have a little bit of my uh, custom domains here and um, yeah uh, I'm going to show you how to attach your domain um, first of all you have to buy it uh, you have to buy it uh, you can buy it on some providers like Namecheap, Porkban uh, etc uh, GoDaddy very important uh, then when you have bought it you need to use something for your um, uh, NS servers. NS servers is a, a thing that uh, like actually DNS servers. Yeah, so like uh, DNS server is containing your DNS records like A records and X records. These records are telling us uh, and like telling overall for email protocol where to forward this email. So basically uh, what you need to know is just you need to attach it somewhere uh, where you can manage the DNS records like AMX we are going to use mostly just MX uh, TXT and CNAME records um, in my case it's Netlify uh, for example I want to attach uh, the domain email share via link to the proxy mail so basically I will just go to my Netlify because my DNS servers are located no not email share via link sorry um i guess um i'm going to attach meet sometimes meet sometimes i have this domain uh, so um yeah so basically if you are using netlify or any other dns servers it's uh, uh, very similar everywhere you can just go go to dns panel and you can see here you have everything it's like an old one actually not actual <laughs> uh so like and also like mix is this one it was attached some time ago but now it's not okay so simply i have here only netlify records that are telling that like uh, this website is attached to netlify you can see here that it's a really working website um and uh, yeah so uh since we are already here on dns mm, then we can like proceed with adding uh this email to get email hosting on proxy mail okay uh, first of all you sign up after you sign up you can get uh, you can use free plan if you wish it's uh, free of charge um then uh, like you would need to click uh, manage in order to add your new domain here is a list of my domains and you simply click add domain okay uh, my domains meet sometimes.com i click create in order to proceed okay it's telling us that it's already registered uh, we can add only registered domains. We cannot register domains on behalf of proxy mail. I click add domain and I can see uh, TXT 
records that I would need to attach record txt domain meet sometimes or uh, like char at which means email oh which means any actually in for dns records okay i will go here and just simply uh, set up dns as it shows us value proxy mail verification ttl we can leave empty good uh, then i click here verify but be patient it's not always going to um, dns servers they have cache so it's not going to not always going to update immediately but most of the times i hope it will be quite fast good okay then we have um, mx server in order to like uh, add mx server we would also need to go there but please pay attention that if you already have some mx server uh, we cannot work with that you would need to attach proxy mail as your only uh mx server so if you have something like gmail or whatever you can just uh, keep in mind that uh, you would need to remove that and your email will be like not available for some time uh, until dns is going to be updated but overall um uh, you would receive for like until cache updates you would receive that on your gmail then cache updates you will receive on your proxy mail uh, you just create the same emails and proxy now. Okay, let's proceed. Uh, add a mix. Uh, priority. It says, it asks us to use priority 10. I use priority 10. And please pay attention to the dot in the end of a mix server. Good. Now I can save. Uh, as we can see, a mix record uh, been added. And then I can proceed back to the proxy mail in order to check it. On this moment, I would ask you to be additionally more patient, <laughs> but you use your scenes that in the real time. So basically, it uh, should work quite fast. Um, it's loading. Let's check it out. It's a little bit of task. Okay, um, not really pleasant experience we have here, but we are working on that. And basically now on this point, I can already probably see that this domain was uh, was attached to the system. You can use it already, but I additionally suggest in order to uh, get better delivery rates to set up SPF and Kim records. So in order to set up SPF, we copy TXC record and attach it in the same way as we have attached the verification. Good. Okay. Click save. We're ready to go. SPF records are made in order to prevent um, texting someone on behalf or someone else, you know? So it's like, I use your email because uh, standard email protocol doesn't have the um, like identity uh, identity check. Um, they cannot sure. So with SPF, uh, it's adding you additional protection against like spoofing. So basically I text you on behalf, text someone on, on behalf of you. So SPF is designed to prevent it. Um, good. As we can see, SPF record is confirmed. Uh, so now it's uh, <laughs> we need to pay even more attention to what it says. Uh, the Kim is very similar to SPF. Um, very much similar, and um, it basically like kind of doing the same things. Okay. Um, in order to set up Kim, we would need to add CNAME record to our domain. So it basically Kim dot domain key dot meet sometimes our domain. Here is our domain and here is our record. Okay, that's good. We go here, add new record, select CNAME. It will like 
it says that it will, it will automatically append meetup times in the end. So we basically just put here tkin dot snake case domain k, right? Um, I'm going to make myself a little bit brighter. So uh, tkin domain k, okay. I guess it's, um, oh, no, it's not. <laughs> uh, it's not right. Uh, we put here a value. And we write it go. So yeah, it basically will tell other servers for in like email protocols that like this email server is authorized to send the emails on behalf of this domain. Good. I hope it's going to be smoothly proceeded and I will be able to show you the next steps. Click verify, and as you can see, they are all set. That means that we can use now any domains, like um, we can create emails on this domain, which is extremely great. You would have super great uh, value for your money if you decide to pay, or you would have uh, very good free service depends on how gritty you are <laughs> um, but it's work for free and it works uh, for money as well for money honestly it works much much better uh, because yeah you will support the service uh, good uh, also I would like to mention that uh, it's like uh, if you just the current price of uh, lifetime um, proxy mail plan is like 30 bucks and you pay only with Gmail, you would pay this amount only like in five months. Then after five months, you know, only for one email. On, then after five months, you're going to save money. So And you can attach unlimited amount of your domains here. And the same with any other service. We are the cheapest and we are the best. Okay. And you also have me, who is always ready to assist you. Not always, actually. I'm sleeping sometimes. Um, um, I don't know, do some other biological things. But overall, yeah. So we can just create our first proxy email on this domain. We click Create. Good, good, extremely good. Don't pay too much attention on that like uh, velocity that I have here. Uh, the speed, how it's loading. Uh, just um, uh, because I have a lot of that thing. So basically now we can test. I can like my real email is this one. I can change it to any anything. I can attach another one by clicking here, add new real address. So like I can basically add my friend to CC. Um, but let's test it, right? We are here to see proxy mail in power, not any anything else. So we go to my like um, email account and we will send the email to now you can see a lot a lot of my data a lot of my data okay two um we just made it email it works really hi is it working right okay uh my gosh i hate loom mm, I, i'm not hating loom Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, it should it should be forwarded to my uh, real email. Attach it to this to this one. I hope it's going to be forwarded <laughs> uh, because it builds uh, very very um, like uh, reliable system. Um, with a lot of uh, additional techniques that add reliability, it's redundant, it's fast, it's uh, great. We are not, we are never going to lose your data, your email. It's incredibly encrypted. We cannot see anything that you write or like whatever. Mm, and we are here since 2020. 
Okay, we can see that someone sent us like uh, the email. We can see the original sender. This banner you can just uh, remove. We can see original sender here as well. We can reply. Mate, it's nice to see you, brother. Good, good. <clears throat> Do I have any other emails here? Yes, I have. That's good. Okay, so now we are going to see the reply. Right? 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 Um, LinkedIn jobs, as you can uh, as you can see, I looked for a job uh, recently. Uh, yeah, um, as you may see, it's working incredibly, incredibly. We can text here, and as you can see, it's like I send, I reply from my my Gmail account. Another one, like this one, is uh, this, and another one is like uh, what, like. Uh, this one, right? I applied from my real address to the recipient and it will, went incredibly well. <clears throat> no surprise here uh, for me uh, since it's a um, very good feature. Uh, so basically what I'm going to do now, I'm going to send the email to someone first. Uh, it's going to be this um, account. You can see a lot of my data. Oh my gosh. But I don't have anything to hide. I don't like my friends. Okay, now we can create a contact. We can create a contact. We copy. So now basically what I did is just like, I want to send email from this like, yeah, at meetsometimes.com, right? I just <clears throat> created the contact in order to, to use it to send the email, right? Okay, we can see that received emails amount is uh, bigger than zero. So like, as you may see, I, I, I did that. Uh, so this one I will use in order to send the email from to the recipient. Uh, here we have an instruction that we have successfully stole from other service, but don't worry, we are much better uh, and cheaper and uh, more reliable, okay. Uh, so I would need to use my real email, which is like, uh, what is that? My gosh, this one. I'm going to use this one in order to send to to, to the recipient. And uh, I will, I'm going to send to this email. Okay, I have copied it. And now, 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 moment of um, uh, finding the truth. Oh, Veronica, don't text me, I'm busy. Uh, okay, uh, subject. Hi, no, it's hey, but that's fine. I'm sending this message to you. Okay, good. How I can send it actually. Oh, okay. Um, as you may see, it went through, luckily. So now we are going to check how fast it is working. How fast, incredibly fast. Um, it's incredibly fast and incredibly reliable. It's like best emailing experience I ever had. As you may see, it went through. I can still reply to, to this email and I will get it forwarded to my real email. It sounds incredibly good. It's awesome service. I'm as a founder. I would recommend you to, to use it. I'm sorry for this long video. And yeah, just text me at Alex uh, on Alex at um, to like if you have any questions or if you want to buy, I don't know, like if you want to donate besides your paid plan, I would really appreciate that. Like uh, you can also buy I am rich plan, which is incredibly great. You will be the first one on this moment of 19 of December, 2024. And I wish you, I wish you luck with your mailing experience and uh, yeah. Bye. Ciao.